Hello everyone, in our last two IC videos, we created the suppliers using ABDI process. Here you can see INTG007 is the integration that we created for the supplier upload and INTG008 is the integration that we used as the callback integration for supplier upload. Now in this video, we'll import the supplier address for the suppliers that we created. So I will use this true integration and we'll edit these integrations to import the supplier address. So if you didn't watch the last two videos, please do watch first for better understanding. So first of all, I'll download the supplier address template. So I'll search with supplier address FBDI. And I'll go to the first link. So I'll choose view latest. And under the supplier model, you will find import supplier addresses. So click on that. Here we have to download this XLSM template. So now I'll go to properties. and I'll unblock and click on apply and OK. Then I'll open this template. I'll click on enable content. Now using this template, you can create the supplier address as well as you can update the existing supplier address. So you can find the mandatory fields here, which are import action, supplier name, address name. But we'll also provide country, address line 1, city, state, postal code. And one more thing, you can find three flags here, which are RFQ, ordering, and pay. And among these flags, one flag must be Y. So now I'll delete this data. And I'll copy the header and put that into the first row. Now, why we are doing this? Because these header fields will be very useful when we will get the data from the source file and populate the data in the seed in the YC mapping. Now, we'll go to the first tab and we'll click on the generate CSV file. Now, it will first create a zip file And then it will create CSV files. Now you can see this is the CSV file that is generated. And this is our FBDI CSV file. And one zip file is also generated. So the same CSV file is there under this zip file. And this is our source file supplier address underscore data. So we'll open this file. And I have populated two suppliers that we created in our last video, which are supplier 103, supplier 104. And the data that we are using are address name, country, address line 1, city, state, postal code. And pay flag is also there. Now we have to place this file in the SFTP folder. So I'll go to WinSCP and I'll upload this source file into the SFTP folder. Now I'll go to YC portal and we'll use these three connections ERP cloud 001, FTP 001 and RACE 001 and the setup of this connection you will find in my earlier videos. Now I'll go to integrations and now I'll refer this integration INTG 007 for the supplier address import. So first of all I'll clone this integration. and put the name as int009. Now I'll edit this integration to import the supplier address. So first we are using the trigger connection which is rest 001. Then we are assigning the value into some variables and after that we are downloading the file from the SFTP. 
so this is the file supplied address underscore data dot csv so this file we have to download so i'll go to the download file action and edit this so continue continue and here you can find the file name as supplied underscore data dot csv which is the file for supplied import now i'll copy the name of this file and put it here now continue finish so after downloading the file we are reading the file using the stage file action so i'll edit this now continue here we are using the file reference of download file now here we have to upload the source file schema for supplier address so i'll click on this option drag and drop and this is the source file for supplier address. Now I'll check this checkbox of column options. That will make all the columns optional, but I'll choose supplier name and address name as mandatory. Now continue, finish. So source file reading is done. Then we have to write the CSV file according to the format of the FBDI CSV file. So I'll open this write CSV file action, which is again a stage file action. So here I will change the file name. So earlier it was POZ supplier INT. Now it will be POZ supplier address INT. So this is the file. So I'll copy the name from here and put it here. Now I'll continue, continue. Now here we have to provide the schema of the FBDA CSV file, which is POZ supplier address INT. Again, check this checkbox of column options. It will make all the columns as optional. Choose the first one as mandatory and continue. Now finish. Now if you are unable to understand this, please refer my earlier two videos of supplier upload. You will find the link in the description. Now I'll go to map. Now we are getting some error like mapping is not associated with a valid target schema. As we have changed the file format, but still we are using the existing mapping. So we'll expand this and the existing map we have to delete first, which we are using in the supplier import. So I'll delete all this mapping. So just click on this and click delete target node. I'll do the same for all the fields. Now I deleted the invalid mappings and I'll expand the read source file. And here you can see repeating field is already mapped. Uh, import action is create, which is fine. Then supplier name is mapped. The rest of the fields we have to map. So address name, We'll go to address name and we have to map the country, then address line one, city, then state, postal code, and pay flag. Now it is done. And for the batch ID, we are using the instance ID of the integration, which is already there as per the existing mapping. So we do not need to map this again. You can see instance ID to batch ID. Now validate this. So after the FBDI CSV file, we have to create the properties file. And for that, I will go to Oracle ERP. Now in the top right corner, under settings and actions, you have to click on setup and maintenance. Then under task, we have to click on search. Then I'll search with manage enterprise. And I'll click on 
manage enterprise scheduler job definition and job sets for financial supply chain management and related applications. Here we can provide the ESS job name of supplier address which is import supplier address and enter. Now I'll edit this ESS job. And here you have to note the job definition name and job package name. So job definition name is import supplier address and job package name is the path. So now I'll go to integration and I'll go to this assign actions. And here you can find we are storing these values in different variables. So first of all, job package name, which is same as supplier import and next job definition name which is import supplier address so i'll copy this and i'll edit the v job definition name and provide it here then zip file prefix so zip file prefix i'll put as poz supplier address int Then we'll check the parameters. So the parameters are import options, report exceptions only and batch ID, which are same as import suppliers. That is already there in three variables, v param one, param two and param three. And the default values are new n and for the param three, we'll provide the batch ID in the mapping. So now save this. As the parameters are same, so in the properties file level, nothing will be changed. And if you go to mapping, so mapping is already fine, like the job package name, job definition name, zip file prefix, and all the parameter. Now the CSV file and the properties file is ready. Now we have to go to zip file. And again in the zip file, I'll change the zip file name, which will be POZ supplier address int. The rest of the thing will be as it is. Now the last part is we have to upload this zip file into the Oracle Cloud ERP. And for this, we are using this Oracle Cloud ERP adapter connection. So I'll edit this action. Now here you have to search with import supplier address. So we'll select this import supplier addresses and continue. So callback checkbox is already there. So continue and finish. Now everything related to this integration is done. Now I'll save this. Now we'll create our callback integration and for that we'll also refer the existing callback integration for supplier upload. So which is INTG008. So I'll clone this and provide the name as INTG0010. Now clone it. Now click on edit and we'll edit this ERP cloud adapter connection and we have to provide the import supplier address instead of import supplier. Now here I'll go down and search the import process which is import supplier addresses so i'll select this and continue finish and the notification will be as it is so save this Now I'll activate both these integrations. Now I'll run the INTC009 integration. So I'll click on run and click on the run button. Now it is completed and I'll check the request ID for the 
load interface file for import ESS job. So which is 8123344. Now I'll go to Oracle ERP. Go to home page. So click on this navigator and under the tools, go to schedule processes. Now here search with the process ID. Click on hierarchy. And here you can see load interface file for import. This is the ESS job which is succeeded and the two child jobs load file to interface and transfer file which are also succeeded. Now remove the process ID and search again. You will find the import supplier addresses CSS job which is also succeeded. Now we will check the callback integration. So as you know that callback integration is automatically triggered after all the processes are completed. So this is the callback integration. Click on track instances and you can see it is succeeded. So under the callback indication, you will find the details of all the ESS jobs and their status and process ID. Now go to email to check the callback file. So this is the email that we got. You can see the subject as supplied FBDI callback file and this is the body. Please find the attached file for supplied upload callback. Now you can change the subject and body in the notification of the callback integration. I didn't change that, but you can change because it is not supplied FBDI, rather it is supplied address FBDI. So now download the file. Now in the file, put the extension as .zip. Now extract this. Now here you can find the log files of all the ESS jobs. And if you open the report, you will find the status of all the supplier address, whether they are imported or got failed. So you can see supplier address imported record count two, supplier address not imported record count zero. So if you click on these two, so here you can find the address of these two suppliers are successfully imported and the address name are main dash pay country united states and address purpose is remit to because we provided the pay flag as y that is why this is remit to so this is how we can import the supplier address using the fbdi process and use the callback integration now if you like this video please hit the like button share this video within your circle if you have any doubts or any suggestion you can put that in the comment section and do subscribe our channel thank you